What's going on, guys? We're going to do a little technical analysis on Tesla. So we're going to kind of look at what's uh, going on in the chart. So, you know, complete 360 uh, whirlwind from yesterday. Obviously, we had those good uh, earnings on AMD as well as Google with the announcement of the 20 to 1 stock split. Really pretty much just gapped the whole market up this morning. Um, and then, you know, we started to see a little bit of a consolidation, a little bit of a, a fade. Tesla also provided, you know, a pretty good short today. Um, through 905 area, there was, you know, a quick little scalp that I had taken to the downside. Um, and then we roll into today to today's earnings. Uh, Facebook absolutely just imploded. So if you were watching the meta earnings, the Facebook earnings, I mean, this thing was down 20, 21 percent after hours um, and started to bring everything else down with it. Qualcomm had really good earnings, uh, actually, even though Facebook's earnings weren't as good in the guidance you know, uh, the outlook weren't as good as far as advertiser revenue, just due to, you know, supply chain. Basically what they're trying to say is, you know, due to, you know, supply chain issues and shortages, it's raising prices. And, you know, this raising of prices on, you know, let's call it goods is making advertisers, um, you know, not want to spend as much money advertising. So, not good. Qualcomm's earnings were really, really good, uh, in my opinion, and they sold that stock off too as well. It did also recover, though, a little bit in the after hour session. So just it seemed like everything was coming down with Facebook. Uh, you had Snapchat, Twitter also taking a dive. Uh, we obviously know that we had PayPal that was down tremendously yesterday. But so if we just kind of just focus on Tesla, I think that you know, just to make things simple, I think that if we if we try to, you know predict where the whole market is going tomorrow. Are we going to bounce tomorrow? You know, are we going to go lower tomorrow? I think you're going to really drive yourself crazy because you're going to have one stock looking one way, the other stock looking the other way. I think we more need to just focus in on, you know, just maybe a couple of particular stocks that look good. Um, you know, whether that be long or short tomorrow, I will go in with uh, a neutral bias, meaning that I'm not going to be too short bias, but I also will not be uh, too long bias. So with that being said, uh, just going to kind of focus on a couple of charts. We just need one trade to really make your day. Uh, and that trade could be on Tesla. So if we look at where we closed at today, 905.66, we were down two and a half percent, $25 on the day. In the after hours, we did kind of slide down with a lot of other stocks. Currently, we're sitting at $880.62. You can also see here on the daily that this, that this is the rising 150 day simple moving average. So what we would be looking at tomorrow on Tesla is if we do get some sort of bounce or we get a washout through that 880 and we kind of lose this 150 day simple that it has a lot of room down uh, and that leg down could be to 854. So if the market does want to pull back, they did give up the 200 day moving average. If we cannot reclaim the 200 day moving average on the NASDAQ 100, you know, look for Tesla to kind of roll over. Um, and if we lose that eight, $880 mark, you know, Tesla has another 20, 30 points down. Um, so you, you don't really need to chase a bunch of stocks. You don't really need to, you know, look for everything that's moving. Just kind of focus in on one particular area, one particular channel. And if we kind of take a look here at that 880 mark, you can see going all the way back to December 20th, we kind of held this area one, two times. And that's when we really got this nice little bounce into that 1200. It's also this previous area of resistance going back here to October. So this is a very, very critical level here. If Tesla does not bounce with the rest of the market tomorrow and we do get some sort of weakness, like maybe it was a little bit of a fake out breakout on the NASDAQ 100 on the SPY. Um, and we are going to roll over and kind of put in that third leg down. Well, this is going to be the starting channel that Tesla is going to need to lose. It's really going to need to lose this area of interest here. And when it does, it could really start breaking down to 855, 848 and 814. <clears throat> Definitely do not want to see that. But if we can kind of just take a look at the bigger picture, we had this initial whoops. We had this initial flush and then we had a bounce. And then we got the second leg down. And now we got a bounce. So could we be looking at the third potential leg down? And if that's so, those price targets that we're looking at is going to be 856, 817. And obviously anything below that is still yet to be determined. So with that being said, 
I hope you guys kind of found this video useful. Maybe you guys can take some of these levels and either try to bounce this stock off this 150 day moving average for a quick scalp to the upside, or you can kind of let it come here, rest, maybe give an attempt to make a bounce. And then when it does lose this channel, look to short this down. Um, definitely want to think cash flow. Definitely still not a time where you just want to put on a bunch of swings and let them swing. As the market has proven to you, uh, you know, time and time again, as of late, that really it just does what it wants to do. I mean, we get big moves to the upside. We get big moves to the downside. It's really, really scary to kind of hold anything overnight. You're just kind of thinking about what's going on in the market. What news is out? Who's doing good on earnings? Who didn't do good on earnings? It's very, very stressful times right now. It's more of just kind of pick your spots, uh, find one stock that is setting up and try to take advantage of it to the best you can. Guys, do me a favor, subscribe to my channel. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about Tesla. And if you guys would like to join my Discord, that link is down in the description box below. I also do offer a lifetime membership to um, my website, which in that website, you can get two uh, courses. One of them is understanding the process, kind of how I use all of these moving averages, support supply and demand zones to pick the best stocks to trade and to pick the best areas where we can enter and exit. I do also have a scalping strategy, very, very uh, beginner friendly, whether you want to scalp options and or equities. And then also it gives you access to a private channel on my Discord where I kind of throw out intraday um, signals of areas where I'm looking to enter and exit stocks and also kind of put out a nightly recap where I do uh, a whole watch list on stocks and kind of give us some key levels, a little bit more in depth on areas where we could potentially take some trades. Definitely check that out on my website, evolutiontraders.com, and I will see you guys all on the next video.